at Black Desert Online again. What's up, y'all? Uh, so we're gonna be checking out Black Desert Online this weekend. This is part of a series of checking of MMO series, just like I did previously with the last MMO series uh, for Revelation Online. We're gonna look at different classes. We're gonna talk about different stuff. We're gonna kind of play the beginning of the game in a few different classes. So Black Desert Online has a lot of classes. Um, Including one that was just added that I'm really interested in. Striker. This guy is a punchy punchy combo class, which is basically like the monk from D3. So uh, I think we're going to start with a striker. Um, all classes are gender locked, which is bullshit. But hey, that's okay. Um, I want to start with a striker, and then we're probably going to move to a tamer. Uh, we'll do a tamer as well, rather. Tamers are. Um, like the pet class, but they also have really strong attack and combo, whereas the strikers are much more towards the, the CC and then the combo. So we're gonna play striker, even though it means I can't play me, my, my sexy girls, so sad. Uh, BDO has, without question, the most uh, robust of the character creators I have ever uh, played in a game in, uh, so First we get to select some uh, basic things, like our horoscope, uh, which I believe does not affect game at all, so... Um, but if you see on the right there, you can see it shows the horoscope and it'll change what it does, so like... You just kind of get to pick what you want, uh... Doesn't really matter. Um, So you get to pick whatever you want on your horoscope, and I'm gonna set see if I can set a weather effect that doesn't look like shit. Oh, I can set it to blue screen so that if I can. <laughs> All right, and then um, we even can choose different poses, of course. Uh -huh. Wow, I mean, there's whew, that's a. So now we're gonna actually. This isn't, guys. This isn't even like the most. This isn't even one of the like the actual character creation. Um. So let's let's go into customizations. Uh, there's there's a ton of them. So first we can look at the hair. Um, this is an anime style game, so I'm gonna get me some anime style hair. Uh, Guy Fieri, frosted tips, in a crazy color, maybe blue. I'm oh, feeling like blue hair, maybe. Uh, yeah, I like that. I'm rocking. I'm, I'm digging that. So we can we can change the. I mean. The, the robustness of the character creation here is, is really impressive. So look, we can change the length of the hair. Um, we can change the curl strength, I guess? I don't know what that means, but... And we can change the amount of, like, wave in there. <laughs> and of course we can set the color. Uh, we are gonna go with uh, very, very, very pink. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's my jam right there. And uh, we gotta have those frosted tips. What color do we want our frosted tips? Uh, we could have them being hideous in like a green color. No, I think we're gonna go with white. Ah, well, it's like Zarya hair. Uh, I could dig that. So uh, we can rock sort of Zarya hair. We can do the gray. Uh, what else? We can do. Um... Oh, that kind of looks foxy. Uh, what if we? What if we change that? Like bright orange there, and then on the end we can put like a like a black color. Like a white tip color. Oh, I like that. Just dial down how much of it is white. Oh yeah, I like that. I dig that. Rad. Alright, uh, we do the face. We have a ton of face customizations in this game. Um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the face, guys. Um, but you can spend a lot of time. There's tons of different skin colors. We can be like a uh, orky color. We can be like brown. We can be uh, Donald Trump mode. Yeah, Donald Trump mode. Love it. Um, we can uh, we can be yellow. Uh, piss color. Who doesn't like piss color? We can be a pink fairy. Uh, <laughs> any color under the rainbow, basically. Whatever uh, whatever you can think of. Oh, we got some really nice dark black colors there. Gray skin. Um, we can be really shiny pink. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at that. Uh, that doesn't look wrong at all. <laughs> Too shiny. Um... Pastel colors for the skin, a little weird uh, palette, but I think we're gonna go with that pink color. Let me see if I can find it again. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that pink color. Why not? Um, my bra, he needs to have. This would be a dude. He needs to have mad anime facial hair. So, 
Let's, uh... Oh, one is green and one is black. Oh, how perfect. Um, that's... Yeah, I don't like that. Mutton chops? Should we... Should we go... <laughs> mutton chops? Oh, mutton chops? Oh, oh. We can go... Look, this. we can do mutton chops and the sideburns. Alright, so let's... Let's do this, and then... We'll do, like, regular sideburns. Not mutton chops, please. Is there, like, a regular... Yeah, okay. So we'll do, like, regular... Hair, like, regular sideburn hair? Uh, maybe... Is there one that's not like mutton chops? Okay, there we go. Like regular sideburns. And uh, like a... Uh, sort of... Goatee beard, I guess? Yeah, there we go. That works. And um, yeah, probably need a mustache too. Let's see. Can we make a mustache that extends all the way? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, the handlebar mustache. Very good. Um, I forgot to adjust the beard length. There we go. So we can actually adjust the beard length. And, uh, we can make our beard hair curly. Um, I don't like beards, so we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna stick without the facial hair, I think, guys. Um, maybe we'll get a mustache. Angry eyebrows? Yep, we gotta go angry eyebrows. And, uh, I think, um, the same orange color as our... As our hair here. I think, yeah, we'll go with... I mean, it should match the drapes, right? <laughs> I think I did this one. Yeah, there we go. And then we just sort of made it a little bit more saturated. Or was it this one? Yeah, there it is. Everything should match, I think. Um, can we make this a little less? Oh, we can make it totally 70s porn. Oh, oh, God. What is that? Okay, no. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I'm still hating it. This is why I usually play girls, y'all, because I don't I don't like me facial hair too much. Um, maybe we should have a beard that matches. Great big bright orange beard. I guess that doesn't look like really bad. Let's let's turn the curl off on that so it's like straight, and then just make it really short. Eh, I don't hate that. It's a lot of hair, but I don't hate it. Um, and the brows, eyebrows. Alright, so there's facial hair done. Um, there's a shitload of... Look at this adjustments on the face. Like, you can... you can. It's all drag and drop, so... I can make my nose broken or whatever. Yeah, we want to undo that. I really appreciate that there's undo and uh, redo for everything. Um, so we can, we can change the orbitals like this. The face customizations is one of the most... Uh, one of the most, uh, like, louded things in this game. I can have giant lips. Um, yeah, so I can adjust size of things. I can adjust where things go. I can make myself really angry at the world. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and not fuck with face shape a lot, but you can do a ton of stuff with face shape. You can do earlobes. You can do everything. Um, but if we're gonna be pink, I think we need black eyeshadow. I think that's really important. Come on. No? Is it? I can't tell if it's working or not. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that one? Um, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's wonderful. And, um, so you can do all those adjustments, and we're definitely need some lipstick. Um, shockingly pink lipstick, maybe? Uh, what is that? Why is it, like... Why is it not covering the whole lip. Uh, okay, well, I guess that's getting good enough. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, there's a shitload of customizations in the eyes. Oh, we can get them anime eyes. There's no hearts. Sorry, guys. Uh, but we can definitely have cat eyes with a, a shocking bit of orange in them. You know what this reminds me of is the character creator uh, in City of Heroes from like a million years ago. Uh, if anyone ever played City of Heroes, where everyone made these like gaudy bright colored characters. Yeah. And then we can sort of get eyelashes that are orange as well. Why not? Um, do we want any tattoos on our face? I don't think so because we have already like the face makeup. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna skip the face tattoos and the wrinkles and uh, our default expression is gonna be angry. 
because we hate the world. And uh, it's not going to be like super angry. It's going to be like mildly angry. Nice. All right. Raise hair. Oh my god. There we go. Now we got the anime hair. There. <laughs> That's where it's at. All right. So, anime hair boy, pink anime hair boy is uh, is real now. Uh, let's check out this body. Of course, we can we can shape our body as we will. I think we should be a little more muscular. Um, I want a muscular man. Muscles. Give me muscles. Give me muscles. We'll narrow our waist down a little bit. Give me a little femi look. A little shorter, maybe. Make the everything a little bit slimmer. Because why not? Only thing is, we definitely have to bring the shortness with us because it'll kind of look like. Ooh, we need to slim that neck down. Slim in the neck. Oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> it's like, why do we still look giant? Oh, because of the torso, of course. Um, I don't want to slim this torso down too much. Just a little bit. And the crotch. We can make ourselves a no, I'm kidding. A little bit smaller in the, the genital crotch area. We want to keep those legs long. We just don't want them to be really... Like, super buff. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna thin out the legs as well. Alright, there we go. Um, I guess that looks pretty good. Uh, giant hands. Let's make these hands a little smaller. Uh, yeah, there we go. Forearms a little bit smaller too, maybe? Yeah, sure. And, uh, let's make ourselves a bit taller. Kind of look like a punchy guy there. I don't really want to have too much, like... Oh, okay, that's frightening. Uh, not quite that much. No, thank you. Yeah, there we go. I kind of want to get the... I'm going for, like, the, like, thin master look, I guess. Martial arts master kind of look. Oh, I like that tattoo a lot. We'll keep that one, actually. And, um... I guess that's it for body. There's also voice customizations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care. And um, that's it, guys. Uh, now we need to name our character. So I've chosen Kitsuga as our um, family name, which is like our crest and uh, like our like our last name, sort of. So this is going to be Liam Kitsuga. Name is already in use. Hmm. Right. What's a good boy's name? Tanner. Probably already taken as well. I thought that because of the family name, you could kind of do whatever you want, but I guess not. So I have to think of something unique. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I love cheating. Um, so we're going to go with uh, Liam was taken. So now we're going to 14 minutes of character creation, guys. And that was really just scratching the surface. You could easily spend 30 minutes to an hour creating characters in this game. Uh, now we're going to get a chance to change the vibration effects on the screen. What this is going to do is make the screen throw back and forth uh, when we get hit. So I'm going to leave it as recommended just so you can see. Uh, also, the smoothing. Uh, this is going to give us a choice between how we see the quest log that's going on. Um, some people who may be MMO purists want no guide. Would go with no guide. Uh, I like the arrow myself. Um, I think arrows is easier to follow. But you can also get a little ripple effect on the ground, and of course, you can also go with your guiding fairy. Um, I'm going to stick with the arrows because I'm lazy. And we're going to boot Griffith's quality of high. Uh, we didn't spend $2,000 on a PC, so we could play on medium graphics. So here's the world. So the game is loading up. On the bottom there, you can see the loading. 
It's a little compass overlay on top of the world map. And basically we're just gonna go through the... We're basically just gonna go through the start of the game now, guys. Um, first few levels, I have some friends coming later to play with us, and they're going to be uh, enjoying the game with me, but they have skill boosts and I don't, so I'm going to get started and hopefully they catch up to them. Um, I'm also going to turn the sound down. It's so fucking loud. So this is the intro cinematic. Not going to watch any of the story cinematics. Here's the insane UI. Um, what I really just want to do is turn the overall volume down to about 50. So this is going to be, you know, your basic overview of how to play the game. Um, you guys probably don't need to watch this if you've, you know, if you've played lots of MMOs, this isn't really going to be your bag. Uh, I accidentally initiated a control to move the mouse interface. There you go. <laughs> I accidentally, um, what button? Oh, this one. I accidentally activated a stance. This character has stances. So, this game when I played it last had some of the most engaging and entertaining combat that I had ever experienced in a game. Um, a system involving some pretty impressive combos. So there you can see on the ground we have our arrows directing us to where our... So as I move around there you can see on the ground we have our arrows directing us to where we're supposed to go. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and follow this tutorial. And, uh, it's going to be a pretty simple tutorial. Press the R key to interact. Common rack. Find something useful. Found a few bottles of rookies potions. So we interacted with this little area here. This sound is still too loud, guys. I'm gonna turn the sound down even more. Audio. You know, I've noticed that games a lot of times will <laughs> audio fucked up. Look at look at that. Look at our look at this brilliance. Look at us. We're we're beautiful. Pink and angry. Oh man, it looks like we. We're going through a phase in high school. Whew, good times. Alright, open your bag to confirm the potions. Standard stuff, I, to open the bag, and we see our HP potions. Apparently we're using an HP potion, which is fine. Uh, Black Desert is not currently full screened because I don't know why, so let me see if I can get it to, into full screen windowed. Full screen windowed. Confirmed. Ah, there we go. So now you can see at the bottom there, on the bottom, the UI there, you can see it better. You can call on me by pressing the these keys to receive the quests. Do you trust, just trust me. Call me anytime by pressing the period key. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. So he's going to give us some experience and some silver coins. And I got the quest. And on the ground there you can see the line that I follow to get to the quest. Use the control key to move your mouse cursor over here. So control key to unlock and follow each line. It's a targeted NPC. And it looks like... That looks like an auto run button maybe? Did we get an auto run button? Okay, so that turns the quest location information on and off. And. Nope, okay. Guess not. Uh, some games have an auto run feature. You might as well punch this beetle. Gonna... 
I think there was some loot there. So if we double tap, we can uh, do an evasion roll, and if we press shift, we do a flash step forward if we have enough mana or enough uh, of the ability in the bar there. And until then, we'll have a little boost in our abilities to go faster. And uh, Microsoft OneDrive will pop up and ruin this recording. Good job, Microsoft. I'm not accessing anything. So now we're going to talk to the NPC with the R key. And it's going to bring us in. Have a look at our fine recovery potions. With a wide range of things. There you go. So we've completed the quest. It seems like plenty of people who've lost their memories have been coming to town lately. Not enough knowledge to start a conversion interest. Believe a village required knowledge zero seven. All right, so looks like we are also now looking at an attendance reward. So a lot of a lot of MMOs do this. Um, you get if you log in every day, you'll get a reward, small reward for joining. Um, for coming every day and then of course after 30 days you get something larger um, we also got this there's two ones looks like we have a rookie and a loyal so we got already collected we got that nice collection of that reward so let's close this and we have a new story item grass beetle alright so that's gonna be in our little quest journey log I'm sure that's the thing that we beat the living shit out of a few seconds ago and it looks like our quest is going to be to go over here and talk to this guy. The skill guy. Who the hell is Commander Croxus anyway? Did he get promoted to commander by breaking bottles? Uh, isn't this just an excuse to drink more? I mean, I like to break bottles. We all have a strong attachment to this town. And get drinks. So it looks like just talking to him was the whole quest. So now we can see in here our skill tree, what we can get. Right now we have just basic step stuff unlocked. There's the the flash steps I was using to jump forward with shift. Our heavy fist attack that throws a punch at the target. Fist of true strength. And if you look in the bottom there, it's probably pretty small, but you can see that it sort of highlights how you use the ability. Left mouse button during flash steps or sprint. And hold left mouse button for extra attacks. Triple flying kick. So that's kind of giving us instructions. Like I said, this game is really combo heavy. And this character is even more combo heavy than other characters, so... We have now finished, and it's now sh telling us that press the tab key, or the left click, s to switch between a non-combat and combat stance. So, if we left click, we'll switch into combat stance, and then if we left click again, we will switch into a non-combat stance. Step two, left click to attack. Oh. There, it's supposed to be. Tay back kick F using that skill. Red Fang, shift plus mouse right button. Try using that skill. So it's kind of cool, it puts it up right on the screen there. So the fighting system here is, is actually very much similar to, um, I guess what you would say, like, at least for the fight for the fighter class, similar to a very simple uh, beat-em-up game, like a sort of simple beating game. So now it wants us to combo to show you the beginning of the combo system. So you're going to use those two combos right in a row. We're going to use adamantine, which is the mouse right button. There it is by itself. And the red fang, which is shift plus mouse right button. So shift plus mouse right button. So there you go, very basic combo. And uh, we'll call to our little spirit of darkness, and he'll come and show us new quests. And he's
is gonna give us a new quest. Quest. And so our quest is gonna be to go and defeat some noisy grass beetles. Um, we'll press Q, open up our quest window. Oh, oh, actually not Q, sorry. And we will activate the line to take us there. Thank you for the quest summary. So we can see our ongoing quests here. And the minimap should tell us where we need to go. As you can see down there, the line again on the floor. So since I used flash steps, it's going to let me run like a sprint, and we're going to go over here and fight some beetles. Oops, I overshot a little bit. So if I press tab, I should be able to target... There we go. be able to target any enemies in the area by pressing tab as well as picking up items off the ground with the R key. And uh, we will once again summon the little guy. I can't say I'm in love with this system of summoning the little guy. Can't summon him because I'm not on standby. Can we, can we change our stance please? There we go. So it's sort of subtle when you're in that stance, you sort of stand a little differently. Alright, we killed the noisy grass beetles. We should first check out which one would be the easiest. Okay, so, just from, you know, standard MMO knowledge, I know that we're going to probably be killing small things for quite some time. Um, it's a weird how long it takes to loot shit off the ground. Uh, actually kind of an obnoxious to me. So you see I'm holding the shift key, and you can see I, I sort of started glowing red there. I'm now in an active combat zone. Probably that's why I was glowing red. Uh, so it's a little hard to see, but when I hit tab, you kind of see the, the little, you see there, the little red on top of that guy? If I punch, it'll hit him. That means I'm targeting him. Same thing over here. And these are just basic attacks, like I said. So, oh, we pick up stuff off the ground, off these dead guys. We can always sell it, right? There's another player. We can't target her. But you can see that the red will move with my... We'll move there so I can, if I'm going to be able to hit something, and like I can use my combos. My, there's my kick. And I have uh, the punch, and then the little, the little AoE that I have there. Kind of, I'm kind of going a little faster than need be, I think, here. Um, I'm learning new stuff I'm not really supposed to be learning, but that's fine. I just wanted to demonstrate some some quick stuff. Um, so you can see on the mini-map the line there where I'm supposed to be going, which is this way. And I will go over to where the quest is. And it's this little weasel right here that we need to beat the shit out of. So we'll press the R key to pick up his item, because he is now toast. The go. Yeah, there we go. So we got our, our item there. And we've got two more of these guys to find. Here's another one. Don't particularly like beating up weasels, to be honest, but that's alright. We also have three alerts going on up here. Story alerts. Alright. And we can right-click on this to complete the quest. And we will navigate... It should... Send us there if we stand up and press. I think seven was auto run. No, okay. I thought we were gonna get to auto run there, but that's sort of annoying that we can't. Um, I wish this game had the auto run features that other games have. Um, 
So I have it, and we need to summon our little dude again to complete. Is that how we do it? Yep, yeah, there we go. So we've completed the quest. Let's do some warm ups on the Wii's. Didn't I do this already? Are they too weak? Yes, they are. Um, but we'll follow the quest marker to where we need to go, which is this way? Or that way? I don't know, it's hard to tell you guys. Those were foxes that I beat up. I don't really want to beat up foxes. I really don't like doing it. Foxes and wolves. Picking up those items. Put ourselves on standby so that we're not fighting. And we'll summon the Black Spirit to complete the quest. Come on. The quest is done. So what this is trying to tell me is that I don't have the combo to do it. So like I said, this game is a combo based fighting game. And you see those little alerts popping up that say X or Y is ready to be used. Uh, those mean that my combos are ready. So it looks like we're, we're literally going to be running around beating up wolves and other harmless forest creatures for the next X amount of time. Um, what can you do? It's an MMO. You know, MMOs have those those moments where you're just running around beating up cute, cuddly forest creatures. And uh, I think we've done it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yes, yes. It keeps telling me the exact same thing that I don't have the the, the combo for it. All right, now here comes our little spirit friend back. Take the like, equipment of the imps and make you stronger than the weaker than them. Humans always ask to do bother most chore, bothersome chores. So now we have even more. This time we're going to be fighting against imp soldiers and not little dudes again. So. There you go, we did the triple flying kick. Did a couple of triple flying kicks there and uh, a couple other good things. Picking up all this gold. I'm gonna leave it on the ground. Fuck, we need that gold. These guys are dropping good money. I'll drop and leave that shit. Do, do, do. So. We can just kind of roll through these guys, knock them out. If I hold down the left click, it should take me over to the quest area. Yeah, it's right over here.
Can't hurt to get some extra imp kills. Farming mobs for a little early mob mob farming. Looks like we made it to level ten already. It's pretty fast leveling. Just picking up all this loot on the ground that I killed people. I'm definitely picking up some items. Let's see what we have in our inventory here. Um, should be able to auto equip anything like that. Yeah. So we've got. There's a very interesting gear system in this game. Um, I don't really know it very well, but we've got two sets of gear. So we've got our gear, and then our outfit, and then we have our alchemy stones. So to me, exact same thing, we're gonna go fuck up some more imps. Um, you know, guys, this is MMO, MMO questing at its best. Um, this one happens to be Korean MMO, and as a result, it kind of feels even more that way sometimes. I'm gonna pick up all these items, because why not? You know, the best part about playing these games is that there's always a million people advertising guilds, and I never know what any of them are. I think I was supposed to die there, but I'm not really sure. Still got a bit more objectives to do over here. Item was obtained. Rebar helmet. I think we completed that quest, so... I do have a chest reward there, so uh, I'm getting to choose whether I want HP or MP. I don't even know if I have mana potions. All right, so let's see. We're gonna look at inventory. Equip that that stuff there. Um, Alexis, trying to talk to me. So we did get some pretty good stuff. Um, provides the following benefits. Yeah, let's do this. Definitely, we want to use that. Uh, I don't I think we're only. So I'm gonna activate my uh, my little item boost there. It's gonna give me a bunch of stat boosts and whatnot. This is all story item, story stuff that I am not really gonna spend a lot of time on. Um, so that gave us an extra 16 inventory slots and a bunch of other shit. Um, 
This looks like a, a seal that we can use. There's a lot of stuff, you know, in MMOs that you end up getting that you don't even know what it is, so. Now I think we have to go find some armored imps. Uh, the imps have been getting steadily, steadily more powerful as we've been fighting them. Um, these ones are far away. Is it maybe over here? No? Mm, I see them on the map now. Ah, that one has a bunch of armor on. But he died like all the other ones. There's another red-haired person there, but here's a steel imp. This is exactly what we have as our... Uh, exactly what we have as our objective, so... Messing up that steel imp is, is the goal here. I just totally jacked her steel imp kill. Take steel imp warriors helmets. Okay, well hopefully I can... item right there. Um, did, did you just hit me? I don't know if she hit me or if this, the imp hit me. <laughs> Somebody hit me though. Alright, so we finally got that last that last item we needed. Now let's turn that quest in. Yep, 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 yep. So he gave us uh, a chest. I saw it. Uh, we have some military van braces. Uh, we got another one of those striker seals. I don't really know what those are. We have two of them now, though. Ah, these are weapon enhancements, looks like. Can we put them in the center here? No. Uh, some garbage enemy, some garbage stuff to sell. A bunch of more garbage stuff to sell. And a tunic. Yeah, actually, I don't have a tunic on yet, so... I like how that guy walks right past me, like, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> well, now. So, uh, this time we're destroying some towers, I think? Yeah, there they are. I'm gonna just try to slide around and... mess up the towers. Picking up all the items just because you never know. items. Um. there an item inside this altar? I guess there was. We're supposed to pick it up. Oh, Blackstone. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think we finished on that one, so let's go this way and summon our a little... So there we go, now we're going to get a skill XP scroll and hopefully be done with all these quests. New Western Guard Camp. I like how it shows me the route even when I'm on the road, like it just wants me to walk on the road. Walk on the road or die. So. 45 minutes in, 15 minutes of character creation, and uh, about 30 minutes of base gameplay. Level 12, and uh, finally headed to the uh, the first like real gameplay area, I guess. And we should be able to run. Yep. So running uses up that little resource bar on the bottom. And uh, we made it to the objective guy here, so we're going to press R to interact with him. That was a very interesting voice. Not a single one of us has lost our pride. 
And sometimes when they localize, I'm just like, what? Has it? Trees are moving deep within the forest to the south. So now we're gonna get our first. It's really hard to get a good sleep at night due to the incessant infrays. If you happen to run into an aggressive bear while walking through the forest, run away. They're really dangerous. Now it gets our first like real mission. Uh, he also warned us against not going to bears. I guess that was accepted. I accepted that. What? This is Western. Princess Jared is here. There we go. Sorry. I'll register you if you're planning to apply here at Western Camp. Not sure what was up with that. To do so, we'll go to this tent. Are you here to meet Captain Cliff? We all have faith in the captain. We all have faith in the captain. The number of injured soldiers is steadily increasing. So, I've been looking down here at this little thing that's talking about conversation. And it looks like you have to have a certain amount of knowledge of the area to have conversations, which is kind of interesting. Um, we can also shop with this lady, and of course we can talk about that quest, where we can pick up our quest. Next, 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 except... Uh, those of you who play a lot of MMOs, no doubt, are aware that sometimes when you're playing an MMO, you just kind of run through the motions. Um, this happened to me a lot in Rev Online, where I was just kind of, kind of got a little burned on the story, and I was like, I'm just gonna play the game. Um, trying to rush through the later game. So, since I'm playing this game with a group of, of friends through the weekend, um, I'm trying to just we're just gonna probably run through turkey by drying wolf meat. Jerky can be eaten as a substitute for recovery potions. Confirm item rental. Practice matlock. I don't have contribution points. Rip. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. Um so I noticed two I still have two conversation. I don't know how to get more conversation points. Um so she said the captain is expecting me, so I guess I'll go this way to the captain. And he's in the tent. You know, MMOs. Goblin worker. Ogres are my friends. Wait, no, I mean foes. Um, Alright, dude. Let's try to talk to the captain, not you, but whatever. <laughs> um, okay, can I, can I talk to the cat, please? Do I just, she's gonna monopolize. There we go. Trust me. He told me there's another imp captain. Tiny Nose told me. Where is he? Uh, uh, a cave. The, the imp cave. The search party? On standby. Sounds in the northeast. You will go with him. Yes. Uh, there's two imp leaders. This won't be easy. I'm Captain Cliff, commander of the Very Western nice cutscenes in this game. This is a, a very pretty game. Yes, I'm Captain Cliff, captain of the West Camp. Everyone's following the soul captain. I'll protect them with my life. So now we get even some more stuff. Uh, we can do. Rand Chamberlain Jordine. Can't be trusted. Node tax info? I don't know what that means, but node war status. It's got to be another. Jordine. Can't be trusted. Definitely got to be another game Rand mechanic Chamberlain I haven't looked Jordine. at yet. Can't be trusted. Rand Chamberlain Jordine. I wonder if the Grand Chamberlain can't be trusted. All right, so I've just I've just uh, accepted that quest. So here's the uh, the world map, and it wants me to go this way. So I'll go. Chamberlain Jordine can't be trusted. Grand Chamberlain Jordine can't be trusted. Uh huh. The Grand Chamberlain can't be trusted. Yep, I got you. Grand Chamberlain Jordine. So if you look here, it says, um, we go to the, holy fuck, that's the most annoying voice line I've ever heard in my life. So we want the captain, we're going to talk to the captain, nope, that's the soldier, can we talk to the captain, please? Grand Chamberlain Jordine, can't be trusted. Okay, I need to talk to the captain. 
This is what happens with uh, when you don't have tab complete. There we go. So now, um, so we can see a few things in this menu. We can see node management, node tax info. So this is node management. It's the world map. We came from over here. We need to go this way. So we can assess the world map. The Grand Chamberlain, she cannot be trusted. But we can talk about something here. Spoiled Jarrett. And that'll take two energy. We had 16, so we had, or 13 rather. So we had enough. And that way we get a little bit of time to talk. Uh, let's ask him about exploration though. Have you checked out the M Cave? Then, if you have only one thing left to do, try investigating your contribution points in the Western Guard camp. Okay, so we can, if we had contribution points, we could rent Cliff's shoes. I don't know what that would do, but we could. Can't be trusted. Best I can do at the moment is take care of the Red Nose situation and return to hiding. All right, so it looks like that's all we're gonna get out of him. Everyone's following this old captain. Uh, you can see up in the sky the giant thing there of where we're supposed to go. Uh, we're going to head that way, even though there's probably a lot more to do in the camp. Uh, not because I need to, but because it seems like a good idea. We have some bunch more lore here. We've got new story. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, we've got new story about the location where we are, which is the Western Guard camp. And uh, now we're going to get to utilize the nice auto run feature. No, maybe not. What's this? Oh, I turned off the, the pathing. No? Okay. I actually, I want the pathing on, so can we, can we turn that on, please? Less bathing on. Hello? Uh, no, that's forfeit the quest. It's... There we go. Ah, uh, this will take us, it looks like, to the... Back into the... The town, maybe. I don't know. But we were done with the town, but I guess not. So we're going to go find out. I, and I started glowing yellow potential to save zone because there is world level PvP here. Don't want to get involved in that. Pardon my drinking. Ah, here we go. So we found Jarrett of the Western Guard Camp. Princess, this isn't Heidel, you know. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Let's just finish here and go home. Well, she seems well rotten. This truly is the middle of nowhere. It really doesn't suit me. I just want to get this done. All right, so we got our quest complete there, and she's going to give us another quest, of course. And there you go. We still don't have enough. Looks like there's certain things you get for talking to people, I guess. It's like an, an interesting level of experience. Just got a new quest. Oh, okay, so there we go. There's a little guide from uh, NPC of what NPCs are available. Let's get started. Left, let's get started. Right Left click on the picture. Okay, that, that's... So you can see that that NPC has a quest there for me. It looks like this one does, too. Hello. Do you need some potions? So from her, I could rent that matchlock, but I only have one contribution point. I need to get more of them. Um, there's nothing else to converse with her about, unfortunately. But if we see that icon, we will know. A gang guy named Kloss will give you a quest. Follow the navigation. Okay, I'm going. We're looking for a guy. Na this guy. So we can see. You see there that a queue there with a the little wolf. That means he's got a. Uh, you. Quest for us. Do you need a weapon? So Klaus is apparently an arms dealer. Uh, first of all, let's see if we need to repair all. Durability, durability, durability looks good on all these. 
We do not need to repair all. So, we do have some conversation points, but it looks like it just wants us to grab this quest. I will, of course, now accept the quest. Tends to favor Armstrong. You have two quests in progress. Hover the mouse cursor to the quest window. Alright, so now we just are going to do the more basic of the two quests. This is basically instructing us on how to get side quests. It's not bad an hour in. We're still learning how to get side quests. Um, here's another guy with a quest. See the, the yellow there? So we know that he has a quest for us. We will take his quest. The great Captain Cliff is currently stationed here. So now we have three quests active, so if we go over here we should see a third one. So these are our grey wolves. Let's beat them up. Not much of a challenge there. I guess that's the whole quest. That was uh, a very simple quest. <laughs> uh, looks like we can climb up here, which is nice. Can we climb there? No, we cannot. Uh, okay. But we should be able to climb here. We will return to drop in the quest. And you see that now turns to a check mark. And there you, you go. Must be an adventurer. You need a weapon? Now he no longer has an available quest, and we have enough con conversation points to talk to him. I think. <laughs> I don't know. That, okay, yeah, it doesn't look like click a knowledge card to set the cards in order of the constellation shape. Please select knowledge to discuss in order. One more must be chosen. Sure. Okay, so there you go. I got some conversation. There's a conversation mechanic in the game. I'm not really uh, going to go into it very deeply because I don't know what it is. So, there you go. We've finished that uh, and now we can return to the other quest we were working on, which is this one. And it will take us there. I have hit the auto run key, so we will go right over there now. Oh, just the camera, so it shows. I am currently not touching the keyboard. It will take us to where we need to go which uh, apparently is right here. We'll never lose our pride to the Hydellians. This is a quest. I have completed. These are quests. So now we have just the main quest remaining. We completed those two side quests. Um, and uh, we'll head to the main quest, I guess. Let's head that way. So I click on move to and it will take me there. Uh, I believe we have quite a distance to go as you can see we're headed this way. So. I think we're going to actually stop right after this quest. Um, there's some more, some more lore info here in the world we should be able to look at without Disrupting our game. New story. Spoiled Jarrett. 
So, if we want to go back and review story, we can. Uh, actually, moving pretty fast. Looks like we don't. We, don't, we move pretty quickly. Um, when we're on the auto run, not the most efficient, but you know, this is very useful when you have a, a long distance to go and uh, you just don't want to run yourself. So, we're going right around the corner here and uh, we should be. What choice should, should be there inside this little stone, ancient stone chamber. And uh, every time we, we discover a new area like that or count, talk to a new person we haven't conversed with yet, we're going to end up getting that pop up there and it's going to show us on the top left. And it's going to show us and it's going to say, you have new lore. We're almost to our destination. Nice guards and shit. Here's our destination right here. And we can see that there's conversations and that this is where we drop off our quest. And we're gonna complete that quest. Our little dude's gonna show up. And he's gonna give us another quest. And uh, we can hit escape. And uh, we will see what that is. Investigate ancient artifacts. So there you go. We have invest. We are investigating this ancient floating cube of doom. Eden, look at this. Is there something wrong with the artifact? Could it somehow be your presence? This game is really pretty. You, though it's weak, you are possessed with dark energy. I assume that's me they're talking to. Dark energy, that doesn't sound good. Still hasn't awakened. Hey, tell us anything at all you can remember about the black energy. You must rid yourself of all those hallucinations. Eden, stop. He seems unstable. <laughs> Hmm, that doesn't look very good. Well, okay. Um. Remember, friend, I'm Eden. So there you go. I guess uh, we lost our memory for quest reasons. Yep. Now we have to just go around these statues real quick. Then we'll we'll cut we'll cut right after this, just because these are real easy. So. So many quests to complete. Not quite done yet. There's still one more thing to go to. Maybe these guys. Uh, the big thing here. Okay, but our quest not done. Experience will gradually reveal the way. Go. Remember, friend, I'm Eden. Experience will gradually reveal the way. Uh, so this is the enhancement system where I can level up equipment. So, like, if I put my... If I do this... Uh, 
The selective right. item can be safely enhanced until enhancement plus seven. So, potential, potential levels from failure. Oh, so if I was able to enhance, then I would. But I have zero crown stones. I'm not sure why it's asking me to enhance stuff when I don't have the stuff to enhance it. Maybe it's just doing that for fun, I guess. I don't know. I think that's going to be it, guys. So we got through the, the beginning part of the game. And uh, rather than picking up these new these new quests, I mean, same stuff as always, we'll be picking up another quest. I'll bring you some more content um, from this game, from Black Desert Online, throughout the weekend. Uh, it's out now on Steam. It was not previously out on Steam. Pick it up for $7 on Steam. For 7 bucks. absolute amazing value. One of the best games I have ever played for that price.